Hello everyone and welcome to my Asuna Yuki cosplay tutorial. This is my dream cosplay. She's an OG waifu, ultimate best girl, and I still can't believe I finally cosplayed her. The makeup I chose for Asuna is soft and pretty. A little more than what's considered canon, but I think it still suits her very well. I started with a pair of light brown lenses in a natural style. Then I primed my face with a moisturizer. I buffed on a medium coverage foundation with a matte finish to create a flawless, natural looking base. Then I set everything in place by tapping on a translucent powder. I lightly contoured my face to add definition. Then I applied a dusty pink blush to my cheeks. I also used a soft highlight for a subtle glow. Then I filled in my brows with a light orange eyeshadow that matches the color of my wig. I cleaned up the edges and softened the front of each brow with the leftover foundation from my brush. Then I set the brows with a clear gel. I blended a metallic brown eyeshadow all over the lid up to the crease. I also blended this color down my lower lash line. Then I lined my upper lash line with a black liquid eyeliner. I kept the line thin and winged it out. I tightlined with a black eyeliner, then cleaned up the waterline with a nude eyeliner. Then I applied black mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I placed a coral lip tint along the inner rim of my mouth and blended it out to create a gradient effect. I finished the look with false lashes in a natural style and setting spray. Moving on to the wig styling, this is Asuna's signature look. Her hairstyle is fairly simple, but for me, it's all about the details. I purchased this wig made in Asuna style from Amazon. Though I planned on restyling it anyways, I thought the color was perfect and made for a good base. I secured the wig to my foam head with the adjustment straps, then I undid the braid it came with. I applied a conditioning heat protector, then gently combed through the hair. Even though this product is meant for real hair, I wasn't sure if the fibers were heat resistant, so I thought better safe than sorry. Then I straightened the hair completely to match Asana's style. I sectioned off small pieces on both sides to frame my face, then used a point cut to trim the bangs. I tried the wig on, then split the bangs to match Asuna's. Then I cut in a downwards angle on both sides to not only trim the length, but to also create a shape that would help frame my face. I used thinning shears towards the bottom to remove some bulk. Then I used hairspray on my fingers to add texture and hold. I 
I sectioned off two small pieces of hair towards the front, then I split each of them into two sections. Then began to French braid, holding the hair horizontally so it would lay flat against my head. Once I braided enough to reach the back, I secured each piece with a clear elastic, then set them in place with hairspray. I let down the top portion to hide the start of the braids. I combed through the rest of the hair to smooth it out. Then I set the opposite side of both braids with more hairspray. I pulled the braids back to meet in the middle, then tied them together with another clear elastic. I carefully removed the other elastics and tied them on top to reinforce the hold. I flipped up the end and used a small clear clip to secure it to the rest of the hair while also giving the strands some volume. Then used a series of point cuts and downward cuts to trim away the longer pieces. Then I finished with even more hairspray. Next is the cosplay, shoes, and sword. The Einkrad version of Asuna is my favorite and holds a very special place in my heart. I purchased this cosplay from Easy Cosplay and it's absolutely gorgeous. It came with the top portion, pleated skirt, and this other piece all of which I steamed prior to wearing to remove the wrinkles. It also came with the arm sleeves and thigh-high stockings, which I originally used fashion tape to secure. However, I do prefer other body adhesives. It also came with the breastplate, matching boot covers, and two belts, though I only used one of them. To add silver trim to the belt, I used a silver fabric marker to carefully paint it on. I worked in sections and used a q-tip dampened with water to clean up the edges. I also let each side dry completely before moving on and applying more. For shoes, I chose white rain boots since I thought the style was similar to Asuna's. Last but not least is the sword. What I thought was a mere prop turned out to be an actual, real sword. This is a beautiful replica of Asuna's Lambent Light. However, it's a little heavy and impractical for cosplay purposes, but it's great for photos and I'm really happy to have it. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel Tara for Your Wellness for more cosplay tutorials and other fun things. Until next time, please take care and stay well.